Hi, today we're going to learn about properties of exponents. So in this section, I will go over some properties of exponents. I will simplify expressions using only positive exponents, and I'll just, just simplify it. And I'm going to do some problems where I just simplify expressions into one term. So let's get started. So um, this is some of the properties of exponents. Um, I would just write it down when we do because when we do the problems, you, um, it'll make it much simpler. So the first one is am times an. So whenever you're multiplying exponents, you're adding. You're adding. Um, the second one is am divided by an. So your new exponent is m minus n. So when you're dividing exponents, you're really subtracting. And over here, number 30, we have a negative exponents. And what if what happens if they ask you they want a positive exponent? So what you do is you just set the numerator 1, and then it's divided by positive a n. Number 4 is a to the 0. Just remember, anything to the 0 power is just anything to the 0 power is 1. Now this one, number 5, is a little bit different. a, b raised to the m. So when you're raising exponents, you're actually multiplying the exp so over here there is an invisible one right a to the one b one so it's like saying a times one times m and then b times one times m so that's how you get a m times b to the m same thing with six um when you're raising exponents and you know when you're raising it, so when it's like parentheses or brackets to the n power, you are multiplying the exponent. So our new one is going to be a to the m times n. Now, um, this one's a little bit different too, but okay. We're doing two things. We are, we are raising it and then we're also dividing it. So um, you can write it as am divided by bm and you can also what happen is um if you want everything to be on the numerator you can write rewrite it as am times b to the negative m right because since b to the negative m is the same thing as if you wanted that in positive it would be 1 over bm so that's why you can, these are the same, you can read it like it, write it like this or like this. Number eight, it's pretty simple. Um, absolute value of anything square, you can rewrite it as absolute value and then square that. And then you would get a square. So I would say, um, let's say you wanted an example. So an example of that would be like absolute value of parentheses negative 2 square and then take the absolute value of that. So that would be negative 2 absolute value of square, right? And then you know that the absolute value of negative 2 is 2, positive 2, and then if you square that, you're going to get 4. Okay, so actually, let's do some problems. So yeah, you do um, write down some of these problems before we actually the, do the problems. Cause... So let's start with this one. It says evaluate each expression. So what um, rule are we doing this? What rule? I think it's the first rule, right? So the first rule says, when you're multiplying exponents, you're really adding. Yeah, number one. So what would this be? What would be your new answer? It would be three. And then remember when we're multiplying exponents, you add them, it's two plus one, which is three to the three. And then you can rewrite three to three is what? 27, right? Simple. That was simple. Let's do this one. 
yeah, I'm going to do some, for this one, I'm going to actually do a lot of prop, like a lot of examples, so you can really get the hang of it. So let's say we're given five, raise five equals over divided by five squares. So we do know they have the same base, right? Five, five. So we can actually simplify it. If they don't have the same base, let's say this is four square, we can't simplify it. Okay, there's two ways you can do it. Um, let's see. One way is what do we know about when we're dividing exponents? When you're dividing exponents, you're really subtracting, right? So you could say, so our new exponent would be 5. And then what is 5 minus 2? That's 3, right? 5 to the third power. And then that would give us 125. The other way is, do you see this 5 square? We could put it in the numerator, right? We can write it, but how would we write it in, um, in the numerator? We would write it. So the 5, 5 stays the same, and then this 5 square, we can rewrite 5 square as, oops, remember this is 1 over 5 square, we could rewrite that as 5 to the negative 2. So if we did that 5 times to the negative 2, what are we doing now? We are multiplying exponents, so we're really adding. So that would be 5, to, five minus 2 is 3 which is the same thing. So both ways works. What about this one? Okay. Um, three to the three, raise it to the second square. Okay. When you do this, this looks like it's multiplying, but we're actually raising exponent. So this is, I'll tell you what's not, what, doesn't equal this does not equal this does not equal three three plus two right because we're not multiplying exponents we're raising it so what do we, so it doesn't equal this so what would when you raise exponents you're really multiplying the exponents so it's like saying so you have to multiply three and the two so what would that be three to the six right So let me rewrite. So it'd be three, three times two, which is three to the six. And if you want to simplify that, that would be seven to nine. So yeah. So remember, when you're raising it, it's not multiple. You're adding. You're not multiplying. So you're not really adding. When you're raising it, you are just multiplying. See, let's do this one. We have three to the one times, I'm gonna put a dot here because that means times, four to the negative four divided by three to the negative four times four to the negative one. So what does this equal? Okay, so let's focus here. The num let's focus on the numerator. Our we don't have the same base, right? We have a we have a base over here of three, and then we have a base over four. So we can't combine them. But what can we combine? The three here and the three down there, right? We could actually combine these, make it into one base, and then we could can combine these two, right? But we can't combine these two's across, so. Okay, so let's, what is our new base of three? So it's gonna be three. So three divided by three to the negative four. So what happens when you're dividing exponents, you're really subtracting, right? So it's gonna be one minus a minus four, right? Times, now let's focus on our fourth exponents. So we have a four, negative four here, negative one. So what would that be? So that would be, negative four minus a negative one. Let's simplify. So this becomes two negatives becomes a positive. So this is going to be three to the fifth parentheses. I'm going to say because parentheses means times and then four to the, let's see here. We have two negatives 
equals a positive, so negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. Let's see here. We could actually simplify this even more. Let's, okay. What is 3 to the 5th? That, that's actually, let's simplify, let's use only positive in positive exponents. So the 3 fifths stays the same. Now, what about this 4 to the negative 1 third? How do I rewrite it as a positive exponent? You simply, okay, so you simply put a 1 on the numerator, and then the 4 to, this negative 3 is going to be positive, so it's going to be 4 to the positive 3. So when you multiply this, it's going to be 1 or divided by 4 over 3, which you get 3 to the 5th divided by 4 to the thirds, right? Now we can actually do one more step is simplify it. This is actually going to be a big number. So to 3 to the 5th is 2, 4, 3. And then 4 to the 3rd is 64. And I don't think it could be reduced, so this is our final answer. Let's do, let's see. Let's do this one. Okay, so let's say we are given 32 times negative 2 raise it to the negative fifth. Let's see here. I want to evaluate, but this looks kind of weird, but it's not really. First off, can you, when you evaluate anything like these, you always ask yourself, can you get, can you have a common base? Can you have, put everything in a common base of something? So we have a base of negative two or two. How about, um, you know what? Let's take out this negative, this one. So let's take it out. Let's put it right in front of here. So I'm gonna rewrite it as negative parentheses 32 times positive 2 to the negative fifth. Right, I'm just gonna distribute, I'm just gonna take out that negative. Now let's see, now let's see if we can have a common base of two. Can we have a common base of two? Can two to the something power gives us 32? It can. What would that be? That would be two to the fifth, right? Because two to the fifth is 32. So we will write 2 to the 5th times, this stays the same, 2 to the negative 5. And then don't ever forget that negative we're just reading. So, what hap so now we're multiplying exponents, and we know that when you're multiplying exponents, you are really adding. So um, we're adding, so 2 to the 5th, so this is going to be 5 plus negative 5 is 0. And then don't forget about this negative. And we know that anything to the zero power is one and then distribute that negative. So your final answer is negative one. Okay, what about, let's see here. What about this one? We have 2 to the third times 3 to the half square, and then we're going to raise this everything to the second power. So we got it. Um, let's ask yourself are these the same base? 2 and a 3? No, we they're not the same base, so we can't combine these. So what we can do is now, oh, the reason why I'm, remember pen does, pim does order of operations, you do the parentheses exponents. So what I did is I look at the parentheses and these can't, can be, can't be combined. So I'll just leave it the way it is. Now we're going to raise everything to the second power. So what do you know about when you're raising anything to the power, you're multiplying the exponents. So the, our 2 would be 3 times 2 
times 3, and then it would be raised 3 to 2 times 2. So that when you do this for the 2, it's going to be 2 to the 6 times 3 to the 4th. Since these are, aren't the same base, we can't combine them, so we'll just use what we know. So um, 2 to the 6 is a big number, right? Is 64. So we're going to times 64 by 3 to the 4th, which is 81. And then that should give us a bigger number, 5184. Yeah, I just did the I did the parentheses and then I did you I just used all of my exponent rules. Okay, what about this weird one? We have a negative three over five. I'm gonna raise that to the third power. And then I'm gonna times it by five halves, I mean five thirds. I'm going to raise that to the second power. So, what does this equal? Okay, so um, let's see here. We these are not the same base, right? Negative three three fifths and five thirds are just reciprocals. So we can't combine those. So what can we do? So what I will do is simplify. I'm going to sim simplify this part one by one. So negative. So what is negative three fifths? Um, let me. Okay, so let's simplify this. Negative three fifth raise it to the third power. How can I rewrite that? Using pot only. I want everything on the numerator, so I can rewrite that as negative three times five to the negative one. Because remember, I want this is in the denominator. I want everything on the numerator, and I'm going to raise that to the third power. Now, remember when we're raising everything to the third power, I mean raising everything to the power and multiplying the exponent, so this has a 1 here. So this is going to be negative 3 times, raise it to 3 times 5, and then negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Can we simplify this even more? Yes, we can. So this is going to be negative 3 to the third power is negative 27 and then times 5 to the negative 3 so 5 to the negative 3 is equivalent to saying 1 over 5 to the thirds which is one over 5 to the third is 125 so 5 to the negative third is 1 over 125. So this becomes negative 27 over 125. Can that be reduced? Um, I don't think so. Now, okay, so this is negative. This part is negative 27 over 125. Now let's evaluate this part. Put it right here. 5 squared. Okay, so you can rewrite it as Um, some people can see it already. Um, 5 squared, remember we're raising the whole thing, so it's going to be 5 squared is 25, and then 3 squared is 9. Or you could do, which is, um, if you can't see it, and you want everything to be positive exponents, you could say 5 squared, whoops, or 5, 1, raised 3 to the negative 1. And then you raise that to the skin power and you would still get 25 ninths so you times it by 25 ninths and then let's see when you multiply this let's see here this becomes a, th a three right three this becomes a one let's see this 25 here they can be both reduced by 25 so this will be a one and then 125 divided by 5 is just 5. So when you do all it, and then when you multiply it across, you're going to get negative 3 over 5. So that was that one. Let's see. 
these will come in like all these exponent rules and when the, and then the next one would be radical we will have what's called logs and then we will have to simplify logs so if you know how to do these logs will be a cinch So let's do this one. Um, oh, this one's simple. 2 to the negative 1 plus 3 to the negative 1. So let's simplify. It says it, we got to evaluate the expression. So since these are not the same base, 2 and, and 3, they're not the same. We can't combine them, so let's just simplify. So 2 to the negative 1 is similar to 1 over 2 to the 1, which is 2, plus 3 to the negative 1 is sim can be simplified as 1 over 3 to the positive 1, right? So our 3, so we have a, we have a um, fraction, 1 half plus 3, 1 third. So what is my common denominator? It would be 6. So I'm going to multiply this by 2, multiply this by 2, multiply this by 3, multiply this by 3. So you're going to get 3 plus 2, which is 5 over 6. Okay, so what about this one? Let's see here. We have 2 to the negative 1. Raise that to the negative 2. So we are raising it to another power. So what do we know? You are not adding the exponents, you are multiplying. So that would be 2. So what's negative 1 times negative 2? Positive. So 2 to the positive 2 is 4. Okay, now, oops. Let's see, we don't evaluate done that so now we're going to do simplify each expression so what do, how do we do this let's see we have two parts remember when we're raising it we're raising powers we multiply the exponents so there is an invisible one here invisible one here this 5 and z can't be combined right they're not the same thing so we can rewrite this as negative 5, and then 1 times 3 is positive 3, times that by z. Our new exponents would be, okay, what's 1 times 3? Three? 3, positive 3. So that becomes, whoops, right here. What is negative 5 thirds? Um, a really big number, negative 125. And then what's z cubed? Just z cubed. So that's your final answer. Okay, what about this one? Let's see, we have 5x. 5x to the 4th times it by x squared. Let's see. We can combine the x's, right? And this 5 is just, we'll just bring it down, so it's going to be just 5. So what happens when you're multiplying exponents, you're really adding. So it's going to be x to the 4 plus 2. That simplifies as 5x. What's 4 plus 2? 6. That's it. Let's see, that was 29. What about this one? 
negative z to the third power. And we're going to raise that, I mean multiply that by 3 times z to the fourth power. Let's see here. Before we go any further, let's just make things a little bit more simpler. Let's get, let's get rid of this z, I mean factor out this negative. So let me factor it this negative. So we have z to the 3. Actually, let's factor out this 3 as well, so we can have everything, we can have every terms of z. So z to the 3 times z to the 4th. Let's simplify the z's. So z's are, when are these are multiplying exponents, so you're adding. So it's z, what's 3 plus 4? 5, 6, 7. And then bring down this negative 3, 7, negative 3. So that's how you get negative 3 seventh. I mean, negative 3z to the seventh. Okay, so let's see. Um, about this one. 7x squared over x cubed. I want to simplify, so this x squared, so let's make it all in one, um, put it all, put all the x's on the numerator. So what happens when you're dividing x, exponents, you're really subtracting. So the 7 stays the same, we can't do anything about it. Our new x is going to be 2 minus 3. So our final answer is going to be 7x. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Now, let's say I wanted everything in positive. You can leave it like this. But let's say that um, I wanted everything to be in positive exponents. So how do I write x to the negative 1? x to the negative 1 is equivalent to 1 over x, right? So our final answer is going to be 7 over x. Okay, so that was... What about this one? This one might take a little bit more. So let's see, we have 12, and then we have x plus y. Raise this to the third, divided by 9x plus y. So I want to simplify. Let's see here. Can the 12 and 9, the, before we do this, can the 12 and we have a 12 and 9, and then we have the same base of x plus y, x plus y in the bottom. So we can simplify this x plus y. So x plus y, what is it? So what is our new exponent? There's a 3 here, and there's a 1 here, and then what do we know about exponents? When you're dividing, you're subtracting. So it's 3 minus 1. So this is going to be 3 minus 1, which is 2. Now let's focus on the 12 and the 9. Can that be reduced? It can by what? Um, by three. So this is going to be four over three. Now this x plus y square, if you were to foil it out, is also known the perfect square trinomial. So if you forgot how to do, if you forgot how to foil out um, certain polynomials, um, just Go under um, my video under factoring and foiling polynomials. So this is going to be this x plus where x plus y is going to be x square plus two x y plus y square. And then don't forget that four. And then you divide this and don't forget the three. So that's your final answer. Now it says we got to rewrite each expression with positive exponents and simplify. So we've already done some positive exponents. So let's only we only want positive exponents. So 
we're going to multiply 4y minus 2, 4y raised to the negative 2 times a to the y to the fourth. So let, before we simplify the y, let's simplify the a to the four. So a times 4 is 32. And then our what is our new y going to be? So when you're multiplying exponents, you're really adding. So negative 2 plus 4 is 2. So that's 2. Is everything positive exponents? Yes. So we could just leave the answer like that. Let's see, what about this one? Yeah, I'm doing a lot of these problems because it'll make log, like when we do this section for logs, when we expand simplify logs into one log rhythm, it'll be real quick because you will now know how to know all the rules for logs So let's see, we want, okay, so, hmm. Well, we have to raise x to the negative three, y to the four over five to the, raise it all, raise it to the negative three. Before I do that, I wanna, um, do you see this five? I wanna put everything on the top in the numerator. It just makes it more simpler. So how, okay, so that's like saying one fifth, right? That one five, how do we write that as, um, I wanna put that in, positive exponent, I mean, put this on the numerator, we can write one fifth as five to the negative one. So five to the negative one, then bring down the x cubed times x to the negative three times y to the positive four, raise that everything to the negative three power. So this one will be a little bit more simpler. So what do we know about when we raise exponents? You are multiplying. So that five is, what is negative one times negative three, positive three. Your X is gonna be negative three times negative three is positive nine. And then that Y is four times negative three is negative 12. Let's see, hmm. we're almost, um, we're not quite done. We want positive exponents, but before that, um, let's, What's five to the third? 125. The x9 is positive, so we'll just leave it like that. And then this y to the negative 12, we can rewrite that as one over y over positive 12, right? So that's just gonna be all over y12. Okay, so how about how much do we get? A few more, just two more, like a few more, and then we're done. Okay, so what about this one? We have x squared times xn. Over x cubed times xn. There's actually two ways you could do this. Um, we could split this into two parts, this part and then this part. But we can also, there's another way, since they are, they all have the same base of x, we can actually simplify it, the numerator and then the uh, denominator. So what would be their new numerator? It's going to be x, Let's see here, what happens when we're multiplying exponents, we're adding. So it's gonna be x to the two plus n divided by x, what, so it's gonna be three plus n, right? Good. Now, what are we doing here? We are dividing exponents. So what do we know about when we're dividing? You are, subtracting the exponent. So let's see here. Our new x power is going to be, so 2 plus n, then we're going to subtract it because we're dividing it. And then I'm going to put a parentheses to make 
because we got to distribute that negative, so it's minus 3 plus n. So I'm going to file, file out that negative, so it's negative 3 minus n, 2 plus n. So what happens to the n's? They cancel, so you're left with negative 1. The problem says we want everything positive, so x to negative 1 is equivalent to saying 1 over x. To this one, this one. So we have this one's kind of long. A to the negative three divided by B divided by negative three. Multiply this by A over B, and then we're going to raise that to the third power. Just to clarify, these are not. Um, these are not the same base, right? We, they are, these are not the same base. Like, if you were to apply these, like, A to the B, yeah, the, um, wait, are they? See, b to the negative three is equivalent to saying no. They're not. Sorry. Yeah, you can't. What I do is I'm going to put simplify this. Actually, they are the same base. How do I? How can I rewrite this? I could rewrite that by a over b, raise that, everything to the negative 3, right? That's the equivalent of saying to this. And then times it by a over b, raise that to the 3 power. Now we have the same base, right? a over b, a over b. So what do we know about, they have the same base. Now, what happens when we're multiplying exponents, we're adding, so 3 plus negative 3 is 0. So we know anything to the zero power is just one. So that was pretty simple. I think this is the last one. Yeah, that's the last one for um, exponents. Actually, that, that was the last one, sorry. So yeah, that wraps up for this section.